praise the Lord. Good morning, friends and family. Good morning to God's people. I'm Osasu Nogolo. With great joy in my heart, I want to bring the word of God regarding our homes and our families. Sweet Jesus, I'm here again to bring your word. Speak only the word that will bless that home. Jesus, bring the word that will transform that family. The word that will do that home good. Let the word of God fall into good grounds in their hearts. Sanctify their hearts to hear your word in their, in their spirit. In the name of Jesus. Today I want to talk about something very good. I titled it, My Husband, My Priest. Praise the Lord. My Husband and My Priest. There's so much to be done in our homes. There's so much to be done in our families. Today I've called this my husband and my priest. This is a wife who is talking. The testimony of a wife. He is my husband and he is my priest. I will take my text this morning quickly from the book of Galatians chapter 4 and verse 1. It says, Now I say that the hair... As long as he is a child, different nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of all. Praise the Lord. My husband, you have a lot of responsibility. You have a lot of work to be done as a man, as my husband. And then I am calling you my priest. I want us to learn a lesson today from the book of 1 Samuel. We'll be learning from Samuel, who was a servant of God, who was the shepherd, who was the prophet over the children of Israel at a time. But I've taken my text this morning from the book of Galatians. You are the heir, but you are a child. You are not different from a servant because a servant cannot inherit the throne. Praise the Lord. What am I going to say today? What am I intending to bring out from today's lesson, today's teaching? My husband, I want us to learn a lesson today from the book of Samuel. My husband, who is the Lord of the house, who is the head of the home, how are you leading us? How are you taking us to the promised land? How are you listening to God to give us direction in our homes? In the name of Jesus. Samuel was a prophet of God in Israel at the time. While I was reading the book of Samuel, I was seeing so many features about him, how he was relating to God. He was a prophet, but you are my husband, and then you have a role to play in the family, in our homes as well. How are you playing that role? How are you doing it in the home? My husband, my prophet, my husband, my priest. Do you listen to God, my husband? Because as a priest, you ought to listen to God. And when God talk to you, do you hear? When God speak to you, do you know? My husband, my priest. Are you a husband that want to learn at the feet of Jesus? Are you a husband that want to follow the instruction of God? Are you a husband that is obedient to the will and the counsel of God? Do you do the purpose of God in your home? What is the purpose of God in your home as a husband? One of the major things you do is you love the wife that God has given to you. You love the wife that you have chosen because it's you who chose her. Do you love the wife that you have in your home? Do you do it as the, pop, as the counsel of God is in your home? Or we are still pleading with you 
to even give your heart to Jesus. Praise the Lord. I want to read the book of First Samuel chapter 9. First Samuel chapter 9. Let's see what it says. First Samuel chapter 9 and verse 15. It says, Now the Lord had told Samuel in his ear a day before so came saying this is one of the places i read i said oh boy what a life the lord had told someone in his ears before so came my husband who is also my priest can god talk to your ear regarding the family can god talk to your ear regarding the situation in the home when decisions need to be made, do you listen to God? Do you allow God to speak to you? And when he speaks to you, do you know? And when you know, do you do it? Praise the Lord. The Lord spoke to Samuel in his ears. Before Saul came. Because the story is that. He was going to anoint the son, uh, the son of Kish, Saul, because the children of Israel now wanted the, to have uh, somebody to be their leader too. And so God told Samuel to anoint Saul. Husband, who is also my priest, how do you do with Jesus? Are you still living your life as you please? The situation around tells us now that it is no longer time we do as we please. Because God wants to give you instruction for the family. God wants to give you instruction for the next phase of the home. Are you like Saul or Samuel? Sorry. Are you on the opposite of Samuel who will not listen to God? Who will not even know what God is saying? My priest, my husband. Do you make a time to pray? Do you make a time to seek the face of God? Or are you just looking for money only? Are you just looking for contracts only? Are you only just doing what pleases you? There's a responsibility for you as my husband. Because you are the priest in my home. You are the priest in the family. The children and the mom, they are looking to you in the name of Jesus. I'll go ahead and read it more. The verse 16 says, Tomorrow about this time, I will send thee a man out of the land of Benjamin, and thou shalt anoint him to be captain over the people of Israel, that he may save my people out of the hand of the Philistines. For I have looked upon my people because their cry is come unto me. Praise the Lord. So was being, Samuel sorry, was being given specific instruction on what to do for the children of Israel. My husband, do you hear specific instructions from God? Does it bother you in, at all? You want to hear God. Do you desire to hear God? Do you have a yearning, a longing to do what God is saying in the home? Praise the Lord. And verse 17 says, And when Samuel saw Saul, when Samuel saw Saul the Lord said to him, Behold, this one broke my heart of them all. Behold, the man whom I spoke of thee of the same shall reign over my people praise the lord the god was just talking to Samuel like friends my husband who is my priest i've come to encourage us today and to challenge us let us have a relationship with jesus because the relationship we, we have with jesus we influence how much success we have in our homes will influence how much progress we have in the family.
The Bible said, God said to him, the man I spoke to thee of, see him. This is the man to anoint. My husband, you are the priest. You are not supposed to do your life as you please. You are supposed to take responsibility. It's not just to have children. It's not just to build a beautiful, magnificent house. Because in this day that we are in, if you don't hear from God, not everything will be right. Imagine you going to meet a friend, but in disguise is an enemy. And then you hear God tell you, this is an enemy, even though he pretends to be a friend. What a beautiful life you will live as, a, as my husband and as a priest. You just hear specific instruction for the home. You hear specific instructions on what to do for the family. You are no longer in that category of man who is having arguments with his wife. His wife has not put salt in the food. There's too much pepper. You are no longer in that category of men. You are a man who is just loving Jesus. Who is just seeking the counsel of God to find expression. To be established in your home. What a husband you will be. What a priest you will be for the family. Mistakes will be avoided. Distractions will no longer be what we are looking at. We are just looking at you to find direction. My husband, the priest of the house, are you doing it according to the counsel of God? Because God has made you the head of the home. The neck, which is the wife, we are looking to you. To make decisions that honor God. Can you learn a lesson today from this book that I just read? He said, he spoke to his ears. Who? Oh, he spoke to his ears and he knew that it was God that was speaking to him. Can you differentiate the voice of an enemy and the voice of God? You know why you need to differentiate the voice? You know why you need to know the voice? The Bible says he has sent us as wolves, as sheep among wolves. But be of good cheers because I have overcome the world for you. Imagine you are in, a, in, a, in an environment. God speak to your ear. Live there. Danger is about to happen. Will you hear? Imagine your wife is going, to, going for something and then God tells you, tell her not to go. God tells you, this is what she ought to do. Are you not seeing the life that we be living? The life will be very sweet. Hearing from God, knowing the purpose of God, specific one, Rema. The life will be very beautiful. In the name of Jesus. Husband, wife. When God speaks to your husband and you are told as a wife, wife, will you do it? Wife, you know that your husband has heard and you know that what he says is the truth, is the right thing. Will you agree? Will you do it? The life is very sweet when we hear God and do it. No wonder Mary said to his disciples, whatever he tells you to do, do it. Oh, it's a life of honor. It's a life of beauty. It's a life of increase. It's a life of progress when you can hear God and do it in the name of Jesus. Friends and family, do you want to hear God, husband, my priest? Love your wife. That is one of the ministry you have been given in that home. Love your wife not as you want it. Love your wife as Christ loved the church. When you love your wife like Christ loved the church, you are first obeying the first principle. You are first doing the counsel of the master. 
And God sees that you are doing it as written in the word of God. Because if you cannot obey the written word of God, you cannot hear specific instruction. Praise the Lord. Husband, love your wife like Christ loved the church. Number one, God can give you specific instruction. God can tell you day to day the business to go into. Day to day, the job to apply for. Day to day, the school to put your children. What a life that we will be living. We will not be. Have you not seen somebody who just went into misfortune because he did not hear specific instruction? My heart breaks when I see some pictures. Rest in peace. Gone too soon. It's at the end of the day. It is not God's plan. Even though it happens like that, God don't kill people when they are young. They have not actually done anything. Praise the Lord. God has a purpose and a plan for us. We will be able to avoid the dangers that the enemy will pose on our way in the name of Jesus. Friends and family, I want to read the book of Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 15 and 16. Proverbs 23. Let me quickly read it. Proverbs 23, 16. 15 says, My son, if thy heart be wise, my son, if thy heart be wise, my heart shall rejoice, even mine. 16 says, My reins shall rejoice when, my, when thy lips speak the right things. That is King James. I want to read it from a newer translation it says son if you become wise I will be very happy I will be proud when I hear you speaking words of wisdom praise the Lord my son when you become wise I will be very happy God is the one talking here husband you can be wise. You can decide not to be wise. How can you be wise when you choose to listen to God? When you choose to follow God? When you choose to do the counsel of God in your home? In the name of Jesus. Friends and family, following God is gain. Following God is profit. You will have everything to gain. Your soul will be saved in the name of Jesus. Friends and family, as I've always said, you cannot hear God if you are not born again. Husband, my priest, if you are not born again, you cannot hear anything from God. You cannot even study the Bible. You cannot set time aside to say, I want to pray. I want to study the word of God. I want to do the counsel of God. Be born again in your hearts. In truth and in spirit. Believe in your heart and confession will be made with your mouth. Have you done that today? If you have not done it, repeat after me. Father, I know you sent Jesus to come and die for my sins. I accept the Lordship of Jesus. Wash me with your precious blood. Cleanse me and purify me. And then I will meet Jesus when I leave my body. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Father, for forgiving me my sins. And the Lord has forgiven you when you have said that prayer. And when you say that prayer, you hear God. You follow God. You do his counsel. You do his precepts. And your life is beautiful. You will become a star. You will become a wonder. What are you just simply doing? You have just given your heart to Jesus. And you allow God to speak to you. Not for yourself alone. For the family. And the family is making progress. In the name of Jesus. Giving your heart to Jesus. Is a good thing to do. Giving your heart to Jesus. Is a wise thing to do. The Bible says. I will, son, when you become wise, I will be very happy. God says he will be very happy. That's the word of God. And then he says, when you speak the right words, I am proud of you. Imagine God is proud of you, my husband, who is also my priest. 
God wants to be proud of you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for coming, friends and family. And for those who will be watching this broadcast, the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you in the name of Jesus. I want to quickly sing my song. When you invite Jesus in your home, he will speak to you. When you invite Jesus into your home, there will be peace, there will be harmony in the name of Jesus. With Jesus in my family, happy, happy home, happy, happy home, happy, happy home. With Jesus in my family, happy, happy home, happy, happy home. Praise the Lord. Before I leave, I want to pray for my family, for my friends. In the name of Jesus, even as our hearts are open to you, dear Lord Jesus, speak to our hearts every day. Give us instruction that will take us to the limelight. Lord, when you speak to us, we will not harden our hearts. We will follow in your counsel. We will do your word. We will do your purpose in the name of Jesus. We will do only that which you have spoken to us. Father, as you give us specific instructions every day, we will follow in the name of Jesus. Every mistakes, every death sentence, every pitfalls will be averted in our homes, in our families, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for those who came around. I thank you so much. God bless you. I appreciate you. In the name of Jesus. I do my teachings on the Sundays, 4 p.m. United Kingdom and 4 p.m. Nigeria time. Join me in my live broadcast as I bring the word of God regarding our homes and our families. The Lord bless you and do you good. Thank you for coming once again. I love you and God bless you. Bye-bye. See you next week.